some power. Welcome back guys, today's video is going to be about some upcoming system changes. Jay Wilson put a quite a hefty post up on the Diablo 3 website, uh, link below if you want to go and check that out. So I'm just going to skim through these and give you my thoughts on the upcoming changes. Now the first change is a pretty small one, um, scrolls of identification are no longer in the game. Not really a big issue, you didn't really pick that many of them up anyway, not the beta anyway. And they're pretty useless. Now, oh, now all you have to do, you just right click on the item and it'll identify it for you. So that's a nice quality of life change there, all for that one. Next is the fifth quick slot button is being changed to a dedicated potion button. I don't really see the need for this. Um, for me, my potion button is number five. Most people is probably number five as well. Not too many people are probably going to change it. So I don't see why they've implemented this. Um, are we going to lose a quick slot because of it? I don't know. I really hope they're not um, removing the fifth slot altogether. They're just putting the potion somewhere else and we can use it some other way. I hope that's the idea. So next up we have the Mystic Artisan that's being removed from the game at this stage. Um, they thought it was delaying the release of the game too much and it was adding too much complexity to the game itself. And it was basically a socket system that pretty much is already there with the skill system. Um, they are going to look to put her, him, I'm not actually sure it's a male or female, I think it's a female off the top of my head, can't remember, trying to put her or him back into the game at a later date. Now the next change is quite a big one, they have decided to remove the Cauldron of Jordan and the Nephilim Cube. Originally they had implement, uh, implemented those so that um, you didn't have to return to town to salvage or sell your items. They've since changed that and they want you to return to town more often apparently. So I'm actually against this change, I actually really like the um, Cordon of Jordan and the Nephilim Cube idea. Um, salvaging stuff when you're out in the wild is always a good idea. Don't have to go to town and do some boring stuff. You know, I can just quickly salvage all this and get back to killing. Now to go along with this, you now salvage items at the blacksmith. So along the same lines, white items are no longer salvageable now, so only worth gold. Head back to town to sell them for gold if you want to. Um, otherwise just leave them on the ground. Now they've also redone the way a lot of the core stats and core attributes work. So strength now adds plus damage for the barbarian and plus armor. Dexterity now adds plus damage for the demon hunter, plus damage for the monk and plus dodge for everybody. Intellect now plus wizard damage, plus witch doctor damage and plus health from glows, that's a nice change. And vitality is still plus health across the board. They are doing away with defense, attack and precision as attributes altogether. Armor is taking over from what defense used to provide, plus physical resist will take over from armor and plus chance to crit will fit in where precision used to be. So obviously with the changes of removing the Cauldron of Jordan and the Nephilim Cube there's quite a big empty space there on your URI. Now that has been replaced with your character stats, so that's actually quite a nice change they've added in there, so you can see them all the time if you open up your character, you don't have to have two screens open at the same time, you just have that one open. So all these changes should be implemented in the next beta patch, which I believe is coming out either tonight or tomorrow night, so I'll do a more in-depth coverage of all these changes once I can actually see them in-game. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time.